most anxious I've been about a review. Avengers Infinity War is a 2018 American superhero film based on the Marvel Comics superhero team, The Avengers. It is the sequel to 2012's The Avengers and 2015's The Avengers Age of Ultron and the 19th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Directed by Anthony and Joe Russo, with a screenplay by Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely, this installment sees the Avengers joining forces with the Guardians of the Galaxy to stop Thanos from amassing the all-powerful Infinity Stones. I know going into this review I have to watch my P's and Q's because if I even let a shadow of a spoiler slip out, the internet will descend upon me like a pack of hyenas. Usually I can say certain things and it not be considered a spoiler because they are so matter of fact, but I feel in this case even matter of fact things may be considered spoilers and so in an attempt to spare people I'm going to try my best to be descriptive but vague at the same time, which makes this review daunting. I will start by saying that my jaw has not dropped so many times during a film in all the years I've been watching films. I was in a perpetual state of shock and wow and at times it was almost overwhelming but I did didn't want it to end. The gravity of this film defies any word I could use to describe it. I cannot think of a single film that has done anything like this in my lifetime and that just makes things all the more impactful I'll say. Without a doubt, this film will result in its viewers having a large array of opinions, but mine start with holy effing crap. I will have to watch this several times to fully grasp everything it had to offer, and I'm actually okay with that. As you watch, you can see the level of work that has gone into this, the level of detail and how this truly is an accumulation of a decade's worth of work, and boy has that work been worth it. Infinity Wars is this incredibly well-oiled machine, so well-oiled it was surprising. In Civil War and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, my issues were about how so many characters are included but some not well fleshed out and others wasted and then it just feeling like too many cooks spoiling the broth because the focus tends to be uneven and scattered. This film is scattered but in a well thought out way. As we watch all these characters that have been established over the past 10 years appearing for the biggest galactic battle in Marvel history, we do find many of them being paired off and fighting the same fight just in different locations. But the beauty of it and what I feel makes it more cohesive than films such as Guardians Volume 2 is the fact they are all fighting the same fight. It's almost like this deep form of symbiosis where even if not together they are still connected. There is a hint of the film touching on the animosity left over from Civil War, but you can see how quickly it doesn't matter. Something far more serious is going on, and it is so critical that all personal issues are meaningless by comparison. After Civil War, I asked myself how the team will be able to work together after this falling out. Infinity War figured it out and taught me I had no reason to be worried. At the end of the day, they are all heroes and the greater good will always come first, and right now the existence of half the universe hangs in the balance. No brainer on which one is more important. There have been many films in the MCU that I felt lacked depth or failed to truly establish their characters. To my astonishment, this film managed to give its characters more depth and establish more in them than was ever achieved in the last 18 films. Which makes me ask, if they could do this so easily in this film, why the hell didn't they do that before? Live and learn, I guess. Up until now, Wanda Maximoff, played by Elizabeth Olsen, has been one of my most disliked characters. She felt weakly performed, horribly written, weak in strength, whiny, and underwhelming with very little to offer. And then comes Infinity Wars. I don't know what happened in the last two years, but I don't care. Wanda is mature, more confident, more powerful, and better yet, more confident in her abilities and much quicker to jump into the fight and help those who need her. For once, I was loving her character. For me, this was a huge improvement. She was finally becoming the character I wanted her to be, and more importantly, the woman I wanted her to be. Women haven't always been the most well-written characters in the MCU. Up until Black Panther, I was always left disappointed with no one to admire. Black Panther truly was a stepping stone because this film shows the events of Black Panther were not a one-time deal. 
During the battle, I get to witness strong women working together, women who instead of tearing each other down or being distracted were united. They were different and not all had bonds, but they fought like one organism. When one fell, another steps in to pick up the slack until the other recovers. They weren't just taking the battle in turns, they were working together. This I've seen plenty with the men, but to see this one moment with a group of Marvel women was actually so moving and empowering that it might be my favourite moment of the entire film. That's how impactful it was for me. I watched them not only fight but show their humanity, their emotions were there. For once they were human and not robotic and I could not have appreciated that more. Steve Rogers, played by Chris Evans, is another character I have always disliked and yet again I found myself not disliking him at all. It is bizarre to watch a film with so many characters you have issues with and walk away for the first time truly enjoying them. If you know me then you know my issues with Cap run deep, but not this time. I think the difference is something about him is different, almost wounded from the events of Civil War, but at the same time he's not acting as a leader. There are no leaders, this is a global war. There's no time for ranks or leaders, only time for acting and reacting and giving it your all. This film showed the most epic level of teamwork I have ever witnessed. Ten years of work was not wasted. The writing is quite perfect. We have character backstories, we have stories interconnecting, we have everything figured out to the last detail. The emotion is there. I started to cry quite a few times but I was in public so I did my best to rein it in. The humour for a lot of the film is subtle and that's a big deal for Marvel. Marvel was known for its humour but they were smart. They knew they have to include some humour but if they go too far they ruin the film and this is serious. It's monumental, you push the humour too far and the whole film will suffer for it. While I certainly feel they left majority of the humour to the Guardians and there were times humour was included in their dialogue that was not needed and did make me cringe, but to witness how withheld it was everywhere else or how it was something you see and less something that is said, the more I could let those Guardian moments slide. The special effects, aside from some moments that focus on Banner while in Wakanda, I will say I think the special effects impressed me more in this film than in Ready Player One. You have to get this so precise, there is no room for mistakes. This film had a budget of 300 to 400 million dollars which made it the most expensive film ever made and that money was well spent, clearly mostly on special effects, that 1000% paid off. These worlds, the creatures, the powers, everything that they put into this film, I believed. So believable, I half expected to walk out of the cinema only to find out we were watching real-time events. I am in awe of everything this film accomplished. I am in awe of the performances, I am in awe of the writing, I am in awe of the effects, the continuity, and I sure as hell am impressed by the music. Alan Silvestri has provided us with a remarkably powerful score that just lifted this film to an even higher level. The music gave us intensity, it gave us depth, it gave us emotion and severity. The score was still playing during the credits and it kept my adrenaline pumping. I did not feel like I had left this world yet. I wasn't sure I was ready to. I still don't think I'm ready to. 18 films have led to this moment and I was not disappointed. I avoided TV spots, trailers, articles and interviews so that I could go in clean with no preconceived notion of what this film would be and it was the best decision I ever made. Avengers Infinity War is the most epic film I have ever seen. It continued to shock me. My jaw dropped so many times I think I dislocated it but by god it was worth it. I am dying for the next film. If anything this has just made me want more. I have never seen or experienced anything like this and I would recommend recommend it even to the most anti-Marvel person out there. People were stupid enough to leave the cinema once the credits started. Don't be one of those people. We have one post credit scene and it is played at the very end of the credits. I think they should have put it in earlier, but it did at least give me two things I wanted, so that's okay. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this film if you've seen it or what you are expecting from it if you haven't seen it yet. If not already, please subscribe to my channel and until next time, bye.